So make sure you go out and look around on the internet, ladies and gentlemen, and see if uh, videos are playing for Beano Black. Because there's people that have been uh, basically, which I have no problem, I basically made it so that the idea that people share data information, okay, of actual data, weather information, wow, going on, you see, and wow, look what's back up. So basically, Bino is more than likely on his thing, okay, I'm at this site here, and basically we like what they do, so, you know, donate a buck to them, I would say, I'm not basically, and I'm not getting any money to tell them or say or talk or anything, but basically they're putting government data, which anybody can go and get, and sharing and putting up on the net. And as you see, I'm all the way to the left, and I'm blowing up at 400%. So now all of a sudden they've got software, and they don't want to be able to go left that far. So anyway, we do have a M class. Okay, I'll pop down a size here. We'll go to, let's just customize it. <laughs> We just go 333. Three, three. See what we get there. So anyway, we have an M class, and you still can't over get over there. So let me see if what we can do here. We will just go to 200%. Okay, we got an M class fair flare. No fair flare. Okay, and we have storm action going on up there. And as you know, uh, with all the super giant sun and everything, they keep an attack on the lunar face. And there you'll see what you'll see what we got on the moon. So f and everything. And then look at what it was supposed to be with your atlases and stuff like that. See if anything's starting to not show true that's up there in the sky that would have normally been happening. Okay, but anyway, lunar phase. That's how much action we're getting because the sun and the super giants are putting that much brightness on. And you're having record temperatures today, I would think. At least you were supposed to, or at least you have in the last few days and so forth. So we have this information and data being blown up to normal, uh, being be able to see it, okay? So that's back up. So some people probably must have seen some videos or something or anything. Anyway, they've got the what they were doing and retrofitting at the most un explainable time in the history of man because the idea all of a sudden they're playing with that and we probably had some great wild movement and then we still have this movement which we've seen more drastic than that in the past and we've seen more drastic than this in the past too but that's how much your earth is moving through space for more than 66,000 miles an hour 6,000 miles an hour faster than normal okay and the idea we get all that movement and we get earthquakes and so forth and so on so let's see our fresh CME action here and uh, that's what you got going on, and I think you can, and the wink, wink, there you go. So there's Earth, and all this color is not good because blue sky is what you want to see on space on CME action of the sun twirling around and throwing this CME action at us, and then sometimes spitting and farting a CME out, and there you go, whammo. So we're going to we'll come back to that so we don't get the blink, blink that I'm getting here on this screen. And we'll go here, and we'll see the scars on the sun, so something's still banging into the sun, and it's got some kind of a sort of a triangulation shape to it, as you see that there, okay, and basically, there's some huge something up there that's doing something to the sun, and somebody that needs mental help would probably sit there and say that there's a spaceship coming up to the sun and docking for fuel, uh, I've seen that crap, that's a bunch of horse shit, so anyway, you're getting these shapes that are hitting the sun somehow, whether they're getting electronically resonated from uh, some planetarial object next to it or if something's really banging into it. All I know is anybody that's worked around steel, if you pay attention to the two or three videos, watch my last half dozen videos, and we played the sun of the sound, uh, the sun sound, excuse me, and basically it sounded like a, the, amount, the largest amounts of steel that you'll ever hear slapped together, and that's basically coming from outer space, that data was coming. And basically we are cross-phasing over here, and then we're here, so we got a lot of movement on electrical signals coming off of the sun, and the sun's rays, and also here, showing that there has got to be something moving, and then even the data almost shows you the triangulation, and then you get the triangulated uh, action on the sun, so more than likely it might be electrical and not an object hitting, but we're not going to know until we get all those layers because the idea of the sun is so bright to be able to see what the heck's actually hitting here. Okay, now if you've watched some of my movies, you've seen something that was triangulated shaped that was coming down to the sun on the magnetic resonating shape that was coming down to the sun and then rising, coming down and rising, coming down and rising. So we'll end up seeing sooner or later the truth on that. And we've got that footage, and that footage shouldn't be going anywhere. Now, like I say, we had some people uh, have little squirrels out there everywhere, uh, oak nuts, chestnuts, and all kinds of stuff, all kinds of trees, pineapples, uh, 
those are palm trees, but there's still a tree, and there, everything. There's stuff all over the all over the world, and basically go out and I like, start looking, and hey, Bino's videos are all over the flipping internet, and in some regions of the country, uh, or some regions of the world, that the idea that his stuff is not being placed. So now I made a very important video, of, and then basically it's uploading now. Uh, I will go and put. Uh, I'm going to put ghosts, and basically that stands for the uh, magn. Metometer, and we want to watch out for our uh, atmosphere and our magnetosphere, okay, for quakes and so forth and so on. If you're uh, here and here, and this region over here, uh, that would be Africa, and then basically there, there, left, watch out for quakes. That would be quake action area, and basically here, here, and here. Same factual. And basically, that was our movement there on our axis. Okay, and if you've noticed, we've moved a shitload. Okay, just in that short period of time. Okay, see this short period of time movement, folks, on our ass end? That's that. Okay, that's more data and facts slapping you right between the old nostril nose. Okay, here we go up here, and we'll see some more. And basically, never pay attention to the video counts on mine or Dutch's videos because they're too truthful. So blowing out some more truth here. We're in here at the uh, NASA government site here and you got Earth, you got your deal and we know that Mercury is basically somewhat helping one of the satellites uh, protect itself on views and it's that one there. That's Mercury and there comes a CME that's missing Earth but it's going by our satellites out here to the left. Okay. And that was coming out pretty large, and actually, we're still getting, because you see this color, every time we get this color, we are getting CME action. You see that reddish that went off the back end of Earth right there? That's off our ass. That's like if you're standing out at the racetrack, and you feel that wind going by, or a truck by the road, and they don't like that, because that's truthful. It gets it down to uh, redneck mechanics for you, the idea that you go stand by something that goes by fast, a train or something like that, and that's our ass end. That's Earth after that CME hits us. Okay, you see the big burst there, but after that comes off our atmosphere of around Earth, which is very huge, and we're still studying it all the time to see that I think maybe NASA might know the total size of our aurora, but as it comes off our spoiler on our stock car, which is Earth, okay, when it comes off, you are going to see this red blast, see that reddishness that comes off there? That's from the CME action and our motion through space, no matter what, if the CMEs are hitting us, which they are, and whatever, and that's what comes off the backside of Earth, off our spoiler, right there, our wing on our race car, our stock car. Remember the old Superbirds, the Chryslers? Awesome, sweet, sexy, fast. Okay, so, as you see this come off the back, there you go. See that big old, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so, here we go, and we're going to go right a little bit. And we're going to see where the idea that Messenger is the one that's basically up by Mercury and helps it shield itself from the sun with all those CME actions, stuff like that. So that's a satellite that's up there, okay? Messenger. Okay? Because uh, basically, if you look, Messenger is shattered around Mercury and studying whatever is going on. So we sh it'd be nice to know some of that information that they know that Mercury's going through from all the CME action and so forth and so on. And we've seen Venus getting it, we've seen Jupiter, we've seen everything because the CMEs are so flipping huge out there in space. So let's go to some uh, recent shots and basically you can go to this site, I'll highlight it, maybe you can see it better. And if not, then get on the internet and look for it. I don't have time for links, okay? So we're going to go ahead and sit here and look at the sun. So here we pop up and look at the sun real fast, and basically you're going to kind of somewhat know that there's probably some stuff up there by the sun again, because yeah, you can see what you see. And I'm not going to brainwash your lead, you lift the leash or anything like that. You just look at the pictures and you see what you figure you see. And like I say, watch out for my videos being dusted or painted, and it's possible with software and so forth and so on. So anyway, no matter what, you see CMEs, okay? And if you go and look for this information, which is basically at the Lasco, and the address is up there. Uh, you should be able to see it. And there you go. And if not, then who the hell's playing with Bino's feet? So there you go. And we love all branches of the U.S. military. And here we come back down through this. And basically, you're going to see that there is stuff out there because CME action like this is coming straight off the sun or the supergiants or whatever. Wham, wham, wham. That sun's coming out. 
okay? And then up here, it ends up seeing to flop into some stuff. There's something there, and there is something there, and there is something right there, okay? So you got a nice roundishness right there by the sun, okay? So let's zoom in and look at that roundishness right there by the sun. So there you go, brothers. That's exactly what's going on. Bro, everything. Cool breezes. Well, that's not a cool breeze, but anyway, there's something right there. Because it's the sh the sun doesn't have a flipping shadow that small and that dark. So there's something right there, and it's always layers, folks. Photos and layers, layers, layers. So there's up right, and then more than likely something right there, a glow, okay? And whether they want to sit and blow smoke up your ass, and oh, it's a reflection of the sun. There is no damn reflection in this shot. This is the military. The military, the U.S. Navy, they want to see exactly what's flipping going on, and they're seeing exactly what's flipping going on. So then there's something over here that may be CME action or whatever, and I'm basically blowing some smoke up your ass on that, because basically there's something in these sections here. Either satellite didn't report the cameras, or they don't want you to see and pretty much we've shown enough that we pretty much know that they just don't want you to see it and no matter what you got to watch my video before this one and then you'll understand some shit that they don't want you to see because this is nighttime shot and that is a more than likely outline of one of the meatballs or something damn well that's getting partially illuminated and they don't like that from space and it's out there and it's safe because it's way the hell out and i show you in the video before this one it'll make you all safe and all cuddly fuzzy fuzzy wuzzy because the idea this shit's way the hell out there in space but it's huge and it's there okay and that picture shows you and more facts and truth watch the video for this one because it's in it and more facts and truth those stars that i've been telling you that doing that motion over there they sure the hell are and they sure the hell doing it right now this is pretty much live feed and it's going pretty good and it's working pretty decent and it doesn't get knocked down and we love the u.s military because this would not be up without the U.S. military and all the branches and all the armed services. And we are the casino of the flipping world. And the American economy is doing fine. And the whole nine yards. And look at this amazing crap from space. That basically makes a volcano go, holy shamamos, blamos, whamos. Okay? Because there you go. These stars are doing the action again. They're dancing around. And if you see what I see, it's there. Okay? And I'm going to point real fast. You got a star there. You got a star there. You got a star there. You got stars here. There's stars, constellations. Maybe it's a constellation, maybe it's a groups of stars that are fast moving and holy buckets because that one looks like black. Okay, when it popped over there to the right, just beyond this fringe of this video right there where I got my cursor at. So keep an eye there. Basically, we'll just finish this out with this here volcano action here, I think. I'm not even going to waste my time checking the clock because we're getting a live feed from Japan from that flipping volcano. And we've seen it blow its ass off before. I don't know if it did today, this, that, or whatever. But you can see right now it's got smoke and clouds coming out of its ass right now. It's not blowing smoke up your ass. It's actually going on. And as you can also even see on it, you will see if I, I see a dark shadow to the left of where there is star propagation and flipping going on right here, okay? And if you look there, you get a shape of something huge and dark anonymous out there, okay? Unless there is another peak behind this camera that's putting a shadow of the sun or the suns and the supergiants, and it doesn't really look like it because it moves a lot, and it doesn't stay at a peak. It spreads out. It does all kinds of stuff along here, okay? So watch all that, and I didn't even want to put that up there. There we get that out of there. So all this very interesting, truthful action, and check that star out right at the top of the volcano by the smoke. See that planet or star there being resonated down? 3D hologram to Earth. So when you look at this, you go to the live feeds, you'll find them. You get on the Internet, you can talk to people at Dutch Sense and so forth. Uh, there's Dutch Sense chat. There's all kinds of stuff. There is geeks galore. There's probably kids skipping school to see what's going on in space and in the world, especially if their teachers are probably stupid and are bad educators and they have a bad school system. And I don't like that kids should be in school. I'm not promoting a kid skipping school, okay? But I can about imagine what intelligent people are trying to see what they're wanting to see because this stuff is happening live around the world, and these webcams are awesome because they're not feeding you a hunk of crap. Okay, this stuff is actually going on. Okay, These volcanoes are blowing up, There's earthquakes, and everything's fine. It's the Earth trying to cool the Earth because of the suns and supergiant action out there, which the idea that world temperatures right now are world records, just about every flipping where. At least in the United States, they sure the hell are. Okay, because we are beating world records of like over 98 to 100 years old by eight degrees or so. 
Okay.